Hi, my name is Aiden Carson. I'm a software engineer here at Nginx. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Nginx JavaScript module, known better as the NJS module. The NJS module was built to bridge the gap between creating functionality in native C code, which can be time intensive and difficult, and creating a separate application to serve your needs, which can be slow and CPU intensive. The Nginx JavaScript module includes a JavaScript interpreter written from scratch, and allows users to easily create custom functionality within Nginx that runs quickly while also integrating well with its asynchronous nature, which allows the service of thousands of requests at once. In order to do this with NJS, you first need to download the module. To do that, you can check the first link in the description of this video. I'll also walk through those steps, uh, beginning with downloading and installing Nginx from packages. Right now, I'm running Debian. First, we just need to install the prerequisites. Then add Nginx to the sources list. Then we add the Nginx signing key. Then the fingerprint. And finally, we update and install Nginx. We can see that we are currently running Nginx 1.16.1. Now that we have the groundwork laid, it's as simple as running an apt-get install for Nginx module NJS, which can be found using the same package reference set up to install Nginx. It's So this is a fresh install of Nginx. So let's just change to the comp.d folder. Then we're going to remove the default virtual server which Nginx would typically use to serve the welcome page. Instead, let's set up our JavaScript module. The first step is to enable the module by adding the load module directive to the top of the main nginx.com file. Now that that's done, let's create a new virtual server. Let's call the file hello.com. In it, let's add a server listing on 80 in the location block, let's add the directive JS content hello world. What this does is it references the function hello world, which we have yet to write. Let's just save that file for now so that we can write the NJS itself. Let's open a file in the Nginx configuration directory and call it config.js. The fundamental structure of every NJS function is a function name and a variable, most commonly named R, which represents the request Nginx is currently servicing. Look at the documentation, which will also be linked below, uh, where we can see that there are several member variables and methods we can use to manipulate the request. For now, we're going to use return, and we're going to return a status code of 200 and the text hello world to the user. Now that that's done, there's just one step left. Let's go back into the hello.com file uh, and add above the virtual server js include config.js. This will tell Nginx to include the NJS file we just wrote. With that, we can start Nginx in Coral localhost. As you can see, our hello world text is displayed. 